Welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. I'm Greg Senio, and next we're going to tie the Slim Shady. So we're going to use the blue 45 millimeter Senio shank. Um, again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close up the rear loop, and I'm just going to run a thread base along the shank. The Slim Shady is going to be a, pretty much a synthetic intruder variation. Purple. <laughs> Of my intruder wire. It's going to be about an inch and a half, two inches. Once again, I'm going to secure this to the side of the shank, and then slowly as I go, I'm going to build it underneath the shank. So that's why you see my hand on here a lot. Is I want it to run along the bottom. Okay. So that way I can take those tips, fold them through, pull them. I pull them really tight. And lay them along the top of the shank and then lock them down. So next I'm going to take some pink crystal flash chenille and I really like to use this stuff because it's similar to Estan's but it's it's a little stiffer so when I build that wing around it it actually helps support it it also gives it a really nice you know, kind of a pearly, pearlescent contrast. So I'm going to make a little bump, lock it in. So next I'm going to take one of uh, Enrico Puglisi's purple sparkle brush. And what I need is I need about two inches of this. And I want to use all of this. So what I'm going to do is push all this material to, to one side. Yes. Tie it in. If you have to, you know, listen, I'm not politically correct. I'm going to wet it. I'm going to wrap a collar here. Just with a nice underbody here. Trim that excess. What I do is come in with that wire and just push it down with my thumb. So if you want to primp it out some, just brush it and rotate. Go some blue flashaboo. Again, it's about 20 strands or so. What I'm going to do is just, just pass the loop a little bit, tie it on top. And all I'm going to do is rotate it. Just let it fall. I just grab it so I can split it between both sides. And I'm going to tuck it to the bottom. Just a quick way to get it to go all the way around. And then I'm just going to measure it out, trim it. And I just take my fingers, just primp it out. Spread that flash out. Take some purple. And here I just use a little less, using about 10 strands. Tie it on. Lock it in. Go ahead and let it fall. Pull it up through. And all it's doing is just going around the shank. Just a quick way. Once again, just going to trim it. I'm going to just take a piece of glue, blue guinea. And again, like I said, I don't like to use the whole feather, so I peel off one side and I use it for something else. Tie it in by the tip. Fold it over. I'm just going to palm a nice little collar. Lock it in. So we're going to take some holographic braid. So I'm just going to make a nice little thin body here. The flash weed likes to get in the way. So all I do is wet it, pull it out of the side. I'm making it about an inch. Secure it in. So now we're going to rotate this vise. We're going to come in, we're going to get, take some medium bead chain. We're going to take four eyes again. Secure it to the bottom. Just make sure it's secured in there and flip it back up. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece, a couple inches of purple crystal flash chenille. Tie it right on top of this eye. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap a couple, a wrap or two behind, then I'm going to go ahead and cover those eyes. In. Again, we're going to go back to the EP sparkle brush, cut off about two inches, tie it in, and like I said before, you know, get it wet. Yeah, it's gonna be three or four wraps. Get in. Trim it. Once again, we're gonna go to the blue flash of it. About 20 strands. And when I do this, what I do is I like to have it go all the way into my wing and just basically just shorter. So if anything, if you had to have an indicator, you want to stop at the loop, the rear of the loop. Just lock it in. Flip it over, let it fall. Grab it, pull it all tight. Lock it in. Spread it out with your finger. It's purple. Same thing, stop at the loop. Does the brush in this uh, fly cause that material to flare? Does it stand yep. it out pretty well? It does. And the nice thing is, is you're using flashaboo. And it's like I said before, if you've ever fished a fly that's got a lot of flashaboo in it, when you put it in the water, the flashaboo actually likes the last thing to sink. It actually likes to ride up here above the fly. So what I'm making sure of is my hook is here. So I've made sure that that material isn't able to still wind around the hook. So there's a flash. Now we're going to accent this with uh, some of uh, my Wacko Hackle. It's, uh, and so when you get it, it comes in six strands. So what I'm going to do is just take three right along the side. Like it right along the side. And I wanted, like I said, about the length of the loop, just like I did on the last flash of it. I'm going to tie that in. I'm going to do the same on the other side. So right along the side here. Go ahead and trim any excess. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add a set of the real eyes to it. And turn that vise just so I can see here. Set that in. Tie that in. Trim off that tip. Same on this side. Just make sure they're secured in there. Last step is we're going to take another guinea feather. Take the marabou off. Trim it out. Peel one side. Try it about the tip. Fold it back. We're going to build a collar. Like I said before, just wet some of this, get it out of the way. Make a little head. A little bit of super glue. Locks everything in place.